Hi, my name is Tara and today I'll be showing you how to make stickers for your planner using fonts from the Spring Font Bundle through fontbundles.net. Stickers for planners are quite popular at the moment. Um, so with the Silhouette Studio and some great fonts, you can easily make stickers at a very low cost. First thing you'll need to do is to make your paper A4 size as we'll be using A4 sticker paper. I'll be using the Avery sticker paper. So come up here to your design page settings and in the drop down box, scroll down to find the size of your sticker paper. Mine is A4 size. Once you've done that, you'll need to put registration marks as we will be creating a print and cut file. Print and cut, you need to go to registrations, the style and select type one. This will bring out the registration marks. So the silhouette machine will be able to register these marks and know exactly where to cut on your page once you have printed it. You will need to go to your rounded rectangle box and first up, create the shape of your planner sticker. I have gone ahead and measured my planner and I need a one centimeter by three centimeter sticker to fit perfectly in each box. So make the rectangle shape and once you have done that, you can then highlight it and then go across to the resize and scale button, untick lock aspect and type in the size you need. So I need 30 millimeters by 10 millimeters and apply. And that's the size of the sticker. Now when creating a print and cut file, you sometimes need to create a offset. You do this because not every time your printer will cut exactly in the right spot. So just so you don't get the white lines around the outsides of your stickers, by doing an offset, you can ensure that you will have color all the way to the edges. So you need to go to the offset, click offset, and two millimeters is more than sufficient, and click apply. Now you have done this, before you actually unselect the offset, I recommend you change the color of the line so you know which one to cut and which one not to cut. And because we're cutting the inside sticker, we don't need to cut this outside. Go to the cut file and click on no cut. And you can see it's been unhighlighted, which means that when we run this through the silhouette machine, it will only cut the inside rectangle, not the outside rectangle. Now this is done you can group the two of these together. You now need to decide what color to make your stickers. My planner is teal and um, pink. Um, it's from Kiki K and it's an A5 size planner. So I would like mine to be teal and pink. I'm going to go ahead and go to the fill color box and click on pink. The next thing you need to do is to pick the font you would like to use. I have installed the Spring Font Bundle and I'm going to pick the font Dreams Liam. So I am going to go to my font textile. I'm going to type in the font I'm after. You can see it come up and highlight it. Go to the text and write what I would like to write inside my sticker, which I'm going to write appointment. There we go. Now I'd like the um, capital letters to be a little bit more fancy and this is where your glyphs will come in. I'm going to open up character map. And I'm going to find the, the font that I'm using, which is Dreams Liam. I'm going to go to group by, click Unicode sub range. Then in the pop-up box, I'm going to click all private characters. And then I'm going to find the letter I want to use, which is the A double click and copy and I can click out of there. I'm going to right click on my page and click paste and my letter has come up because I already have the particular font highlighted. Now I need to replace the letter A with the new letter A. So I'm going to highlight my word. I'm actually going to ungroup and that will separate all my letters and then this is the A I don't want. Highlight that and delete. I can now bring my new A across. At this point, highlight all of your other letters because we need them to join together. Click weld and you can see they have welded them all together. Reassess where you would like your letter A, place it and then highlight the whole lot 
and click group. Now we don't want this to cut when we do the print and cut. So again, go to your cut settings and click no cut. So then it unhighlights. I'd like to have my writing white. So I'm going to go to the fill box and click white. Don't worry about the red lines. They will not show up because I have them actually set. If you have a look at zero point for line fitness, so they will not come up when you print. You need to resize to fit your um, sticker. There we go. And there you have it. Now that you have your sticker finished, you can create different stickers for different information. So I can highlight this now and copy it and then paste. That gives me a second one. I can then ungroup and I can remove the word. I could change the color. I'm going to try this one. I'm going to make it um, probably teal, a tealy color. So it matches my, oh, there we go. It can match my, um, my planner. And then I can write myself um, a different word for maybe work or hot weekend or holidays. So I can then click here. I can write myself, let's write weekend. So we do the same thing again. We want this not to cut. So we do no cut. I'm, um, I'm going to ungroup. I'm going to weld all these together. But I think I might go ahead and get a different W. So I'm going to go back to character maps. I'm going to find a W I like. I'm going to take the W, copy, and then I'm going to paste that in here. Oh, I don't need, oh there it is. I'm going to remove the W I've got, and I'm going to put that W in place, which I think is quite nice. Then I can highlight them all group them together. I'm just going to double check to make sure they have got no cut. Click on no cut. And then I'm going to fill that with white. So it will see it over the teal. And then it's just a matter of again, making sure that it fits within the parameters of our sticker. And there we go. So I'm going to highlight all that, group it together. Now I'm going to zoom back out. Now, once you've done that, you need to, oh, and we've lost it there. Let's reverse that. Let's make sure they're all together. Group them up. Now we have them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate. Now, to duplicate them, we need to go across here to the replicate window, and I'm going to replicate right. 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 And that's not going to fit. So I can highlight them all and move them all across to fit. There we go. Now, as long as you keep your print and cut items within the um, cross-hatched parts, they will print and cut with no, prob no problems. So now I've done that. I'm actually going to duplicate that below because I want a few of those. Better move my weekend out of the way. And I'm going to duplicate again and again. I'm going to do the same thing with my weekend one. Highlight it, duplicate right, duplicate right, again and again. Highlight all of them and duplicate below and again and again. <clears throat> Next thing you'll need to do is to print. So go to your print window, pick the printer you would like to use and print on your sticker paper. I'll cancel that. Once you've printed on your sticker paper, you didn't have to cut. You go to center silhouette and adjust cut settings. You can check to see what's highlighted and what's not highlighted. And I'm going to zoom in so you can see. And you can see that here we have highlighted the sticker shape. And again down here. But the offset is not highlighted and neither is the words themselves. So when we cut, Silhouette will only cut 
the outside that shape there and leave the offset which then if these don't cut exactly straight you've got that extra play, play area where you still get um, color and you won't get any white um, to cut them you if you're using the silhouette brand there actually is an option for white sticker paper which is the silhouette brand white sticker paper and it sets it for you if you're using your own brand like I'm using the Avery one um, I actually have a preset amount got called office choice white stickers um, and I set that a while back and it just it kiss cuts everything for me um, ready to roll um, the only other thing that I would recommend is that if you're doing print and cut make sure that your silhouette is located in a br brightly lit area because you have to the um, laser actually has to register these three registration marks if your area is not um, bright it will not pick it up and therefore it won't cut properly. The other thing to remember is when you place your sticker paper into your printer, make sure that it is straight on and is not any kind of slight angle because again, if you print slightly off center, your silhouette won't pick it up correctly and then you'll cut off center as well. Um, that's I think that's all that you need to know regarding making the stickers. If you check out the blog post below, there'll be a step-by-step -step um, screenshot of what I've just done now um, and also showing you the final three steps to finish this um, and you'll see the stickers in my planner book as well. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget you can pick up the spring font bundle from fontbundles.net and it's available now. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.